What's up guys, Jeff Murphy back again. And today we're gonna take a look in Lightroom and see how I utilize reference images to create a final product. Let's get into it. What's up guys? Now we're in Lightroom and as you can see, I already loaded up Childish Gambino's This Is America reference image that way we are able to see kind of how the vibes were in that video and I was able to utilize that to create what you see on the right in my shot now reference images are super super important whenever you take inspiration from something or you want to color grade uh, to a similar style of someone you may like or kind of create your own uh, custom presets so whenever you want to do that make sure you're utilizing this this reference um, part of Lightroom. I'll show you guys kind of where we started off with the image. Uh, it was a pretty plain Jane image and we went ahead and took our reference and we, we turned it into this. So once you utilize uh, your reference image and you match your colors and your skin tones up, you're able to save it as a preset and apply it to some of your other images. But first, <clears throat> let's jump in and uh, talk about some of the settings we use to get here. So first off, your white balance um, with a raw file, it's, it's great. You're able to go back in and edit it, and I can kind of show you guys how this thing was started out. Uh, with the Sony images, you have a lot of green tint in your skin tone, so um, we always want to go ahead and adjust that a little bit closer for the magenta side, and we'll go ahead and reset that back so you can see what I did there. Um, I didn't touch the exposure. We used a little bit of off-camera flash, so you can see he's nice and well lit. Um, with the location, we didn't really find something super uh, similar, so we went with the parking garage to kind of fit that vibe, and I think we nailed it. We still have some lights up here. Um, they're a little bit blown out in my image, but uh, that's you kind of get the, the same feel. It's, it's dark. It's kind of moody. There's a little bit of backlight, so uh, we, we used uh, the best that we could find for, for that day. So uh, I pulled the highlights down. That way we can kind of get... Uh, a little bit back in into our, our lights up here I didn't mess with the shadows or the whites I pulled the blacks back a little bit too um, we wanted to kind of set that mood how the bottom half of the frame in this video was dark uh, so I, I kind of went with that I believe I added a gradient here um, overlay into this image but we'll get into that later um, with the presence sliders here I, I always pump up my clarity slightly and uh, dehaze is such a powerful tool I don't think enough people use it um, it really adds a little bit of pop to your images especially when they seem flat and then uh, I I don't really fool with vibrance too much but the saturation slider I like to kind of pull down sometimes because we when we get down here to our HSL sliders um, I really like to mess with the single color saturation and kind of create the mood and that's what we did here we we dropped down our purples and blues and we pulled up our oranges a little bit and that's to help kind of create the skin tone that that we wanted um, but let's jump back up to the tone curve here we created a slight s curve uh, that just gives it like I said a little bit more pop um, which is kind of what what he had in uh, in the video so you just got to play around with the tone curve I don't want to get too in-depth because this isn't really a review of any of these tools if you want to see a review of any of these tools in uh, Lightroom I'd love to do it for you I'll get in-depth but uh, right now we're just gonna go through kinda what what I did for this particular photo shoot um, but this is where the magic happened and I'll show you guys what happens when you turn off split toning and uh, you can see here we have just a lot of magenta in the image but we added back in the highlights this blue this blue color here and that's what allowed us to match up the environments and we were still able to keep the orangish color in his skin tones in the shadows so just utilize that split toning tool I don't think a lot of people use it enough um, we were at 2000 ISO so I did have to pump up uh, my noise reduction a little bit um, and I transformed to to level the image out. It's still not uh, where I want it. You can see the horizon lines a little a little crooked, but we'll we'll jump in here real quick and and kind of edit that and kind of get that to where we want it. There we go. We won't edit too much. And 
voila, I feel like we really nailed down the, the, the feel of the video. Um, so once you do that, like I said, you're able to go to copy. You can copy all your effects here and you can go through and find other images that you like and paste and you, you kind of have that same vibe instantly and you'll, you'll have to play with each image because sometimes your settings will change whenever the lighting changes but uh, I'll go through and show you guys a couple of images from this shoot that uh, we copied uh, or mimicked from the video um, because we drew inspiration now this is one of my favorite shots from the shoot we got a lot of great bokeh in the background he was um, lit I'll show you guys in the behind the scenes that'll roll over this this voiceover he was lit over here on the the right side and I had the light facing him in the front so you could kind of see his hands and we got this nice mood moody lighting on his face where it's the shadows back here uh, on his cheekbones so I'll show you how we did that um, in the behind the scenes and uh, we'll jump into a couple more shots here. This was one that was more backlit. Um, I didn't really like it, but I still wanted to edit it to see how it was. Here's another image of him walking towards the camera. Uh, I think you get a, a really moody vibe from this as well. But uh, I did a couple shots that weren't in the music video um, just to kind of show off the, the location that we were at. Because like I said, you, you draw, inspiration from something you don't want to completely copy it so we did that we liked the way it felt and we we kind of interpret our own message as well which I'll, I'll talk about maybe a little bit later but I, I kind of did a silhouette uh, I played with this image a little bit to show you that you could do a couple different things uh, with the same image essentially so here's an image another image of him walking towards the camera where it's it's kind of shown that he he is uh, just taking a step forward when I'll show you guys how I lit this here the light um, I believe is off to the right of his face as you can see here in his eyes you can kind of see where that key light is we're gonna go ahead and get into um, our last image which I think is one of the more powerful images it's a composited image we used the same same guy uh, to shoot it and I just blended them together in, in Photoshop but um, if you guys like to see a tutorial on compositing just let me know down in the comments. I'll do that for you. But we, um, in the in the video, he he's shown sh shooting another man, and uh, the gun is being treated with a red cloth, and it, it's been interpreted in quite a few different ways. But I just thought this image was very powerful in in showing the community on uh, what what you should and shouldn't do. Um, I don't really want to get into the politics about it because photography is artwork, and everybody's going to interpret it differently. So. Uh, here's one of the images we utilized uh, and here's the second one and we we match these up to create this so uh, that's that's pretty much it uh, for for some of the images we shot and I edited and I this is how I got to that feel from the the, the childish Gambino this is America video so all right guys that's it for Lightroom thanks for tuning into my short tutorial on how to utilize a reference image in Lightroom I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more behind the scenes or tutorials or even talk about the new Sony systems, be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, stay creative. Peace. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop. Stop.